Everyone who comes to Prescott visits Whiskey Row. It's the city's number one attraction. Now, I know a video can't quite compare to actually walking in the footsteps of Wild West characters like Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday, but stay with me as I take you on a tour along the historic 675 feet of Montezuma Street that for at least 140 years, Prescott residents have affectionately referred to as Whiskey Row. And at the end of the video, I'll take you to the Row's best kept secret and one of my favorite spots. So here we go. Prescott was established in 1864 following the discovery of gold the previous year. And though the first known reference in print to the name Whiskey Row doesn't appear until 1883, there's little doubt that the presence of the saloons that gave the row its name probably predates Prescott itself. Now, some claim Whiskey Row was originally located further west, but was moved to its current location to prevent inebriated patrons from falling into Granite Creek. Now, officially, Whiskey Row is the name given only to the one-block stretch of Montezuma between Gurley and Goodwin Streets. In Prescott's heyday, 40 saloons crowded the block from end to end. But today, taverns, speakeasies, eateries, and shops have extended the row in both directions, north and south, giving Prescott visitors even more to see and to enjoy. Whiskey Row endured a number of fires over the years, the most recent in May of 2012. The majority of structures visible along the road today were built following the devastating fire of 1900 that wiped out not only Whiskey Row, but over four city blocks. It was in the years immediately following the fire that the move was made to replace the old wood frame structures with more fire resistant brick, iron, and stone. Standing at the north end of Whiskey Row is the historic Hotel St. Michael, which was built with bricks salvaged from the fire of 1900. The new hotel, measuring 55,000 square feet with 110 rooms, replaced the Burke Hotel that had stood on the same spot since 1891. With Prescott being named Arizona's territorial capital, the St. Michael became very popular with politicians and was known for its beautiful interior woodwork, much of which has been preserved and restored. The hotel also houses one of Prescott's popular brunch and dinner spots, the Bistro St. Michael, on the main floor with views of Courthouse Plaza and Gurley Street. There are also a number of shops and galleries located within a section of the hotel known as St. Michael's Alley. Next door to the St. Michael is the bar known as Prescott's last true honky-tonk, Matt's Longhorn Saloon, or just Matt's Saloon to locals. Operating as a bar since the end of Prohibition in the 1930s, the saloon became Matt's in 1962. Inside, you'll find a 1,000 square foot dance floor and a beautiful 40 foot long back bar that actually came out of another saloon in Tombstone, Arizona. The bar top added in 2009 is literally branded with over 100 Yavapai County ranch brands. At night, you can expect great live country music and whether or not you're into the two-step or country line dancing, the bar's co-owners, Marco Espedia and Matt Broussard, always make sure everyone feels welcome at Matt's. Now next to Matt's and up a long narrow staircase, you'll find another Prescott favorite, Jersey Lily Saloon. Jersey Lily is known for its friendly staff, its live music, and its open balcony with a one-of-a-kind view of Prescott's Granite Courthouse and Plaza. Jersey Lily is also fundraising central for Prescott's Christmas season courthouse lighting. Last year in 2023, the Friends of Jersey Lily raised and contributed, get this, over $70,000 to fund the signature event that is enjoyed every year by so many people. The oldest continually operating saloon and business in the entire state of Arizona is next on the row, and that's the famous Palace Restaurant and Saloon, a bar that has served legendary characters such as Doc Holliday, Wyatt and Virgil Earp, and Big Nose Kate. <laughs> when you enter through the traditional swinging doors, you'll find that the palace looks today much as it did in 1901 when it was rebuilt following the Great Downtown Fire. You'll also find the palace's most famous pre-fire relic, the 24-foot-long hand-carved Brunswick bar that was saved by patrons who dragged it out of the building and across the street so they could continue to drink while the rest of Whiskey Row burned to the ground. <laughs> 
In addition to saloons, Whiskey Row today is home to a number of eclectic shops and art galleries. The Arts Prescott Cooperative, Ian Russell Gallery, and Van Gogh's Ear offer visitors an amazing array of fine art. Paintings, drawings, photographs, mixed media, pottery, glass, sculpture, furniture, and fine jewelry, most by local artisans and craftspeople. You'll also find specialty clothing stores, souvenir shops, and for the bikers who frequent Prescott, a Harley Davidson clothing and gift shop. As you approach the southern end of Whiskey Row, you'll find a couple more watering holes, 1881 Spirits, formerly the Whiskey Row Pub, and Prescott's famous Birdcage Saloon. But between the two bars, and don't blink because you'll miss it, is the popular Grand Highland Hotel. The building that now houses the Grand Highland opened in 1903, shortly after the Great Fire of 1900. The Grand Highland Hotel is a boutique hotel offering just a dozen historically themed hotel rooms. It was renovated following the damage it received during the 2012 fire that destroyed the Birdcage Saloon. The original location of the Birdcage is now the Grand Highlands Holiday Courtyard, an open area complete with a stage and available for private parties, weddings, and other special events. With the exception of the Bistro St. Michael and Grumpy Sicilian Pizza, <laughs> most of the restaurants adjacent to Courthouse Plaza are not on Whiskey Row itself, but are located along Gurley, Goodwin, and Cortez Streets. If you cross Goodwin Street at the Rose South End, you'll find Colt Grill for great barbecue, Whiskey River Tavern for burgers and pub food, and Be Simple for a fantastic breakfast. But if you're on the row and need to satisfy your sweet tooth with maybe a little ice cream, popcorn, or saltwater taffy, the Treat Center is the perfect spot. To learn about the many facets of Prescott's history, mining, gambling, the rodeo, Fort Whipple, just to name a few, be sure to spend some time at the Western Heritage Center. That's at 156 South Montezuma. You'll be able to see some fantastic authentic memorabilia like an old slot machine and an original roulette wheel from the Palace Saloon. Admission is free. The center is entirely funded by donations and is staffed by volunteers with the goal of preserving and promoting the Prescott area's Western heritage. Costumed staff members are always on hand to guide you through the exhibits and are happy to answer any questions. The final stop on Whiskey Row before its intersection with Goodwin Street is the Birdcage Saloon, known for good drinks, great live music, and its taxidermy collection. The cage, as it is known by locals, was originally located about 100 feet further north along the row, but the bar and two adjacent businesses were destroyed by fire on May 8, 2012. Prescottonians and other patrons of the cage came together in support of its owner and staff, and thankfully the bar was able to reopen in its present location. What does the future have in store for Whiskey Row? Well, right now there's a debate raging in Prescott over a proposed new hotel on Whiskey Row. Although the developers have gone to great lengths to design a building that would blend into its surroundings, there are many vocal opponents who insist that nothing, nothing be built that might change the character of Whiskey Row. And that makes me wonder, what did Prescottonians think back in 1900 when they saw the old wooden saloons being replaced with the massive brick and stone edifices like, like the new palace and the Hotel St. Michael, buildings that we just take for granted today. Were they focused on Prescott's character or were they thinking about Prescott's future? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, I promised at the beginning of this video that I'd show you Whiskey Row's best kept secret. Well, it's a place that you cannot get to from Montezuma Street. But if you walk through the birdcage, out of the rear entrance, and into the alley, and then turn to the right, you'll find the back alley wine bar. They have a great wine selection with many offerings from local wineries, a tasty appetizer menu, a very friendly staff, and more great live music. So be sure to stop in and don't forget to tell them the Kilted Realtor sent you. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of Whiskey Row. If you're coming this way and need some restaurant recommendations, check the video description and grab a copy of my free Prescott Restaurant Guide that lists 45 of Prescott's best restaurants, most just a block or two from Whiskey Row. 
And before you go, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next Prescott-related post. As always, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on Whiskey Row. <laughs> Cheers.